Okay, I've got a little side carpentry job here. I'm going to be making and installing some custom thresholds in an old house for a homeowner with mobility issues. So I have to make some transitions to tie these floors together so that there isn't a tripping hazard. So this first one is the simplest and both of the floor planes are even and there's just a three-quarter height difference so all I have to do is cut a piece of hardwood make a tapered bevel cut on one edge and screw it and glue it to that floor and that's all I have to do this one is a little bit more complicated because there's a height difference of about an inch and a half and I have to make that in two pieces so I'm gonna make a plywood ramp and then glue the ramp down to the floor and there's a big hump in the floor which kinda makes it a little bit more complicated so I have to sculpt that bottom piece around that hump but both of the planes are pretty much even there's not a, a variable in this one it's gonna be a lot more difficult because there's a height difference of about two and an eighth and it tapers from left to right so it starts at about seven eighths and then tapers to two and one eighth and then plus the old floor is sagging in two different directions so the kitchen floor is the taller one and it's been repaired and fixed and leveled and I have to transition that to an old floor that is sagging in two different directions so the pitch of the ramp has to change from left to right and blend in with the floor and that's going to be very difficult okay I've got the first part of this threshold complete I have half inch plywood that matches the thickness of the laminate floor in the kitchen and so I glued that down on that ledge and then added some blocks in front that were made out of shims and I glued those in place so everything is secured and glued in place and then I put some painters tape on top of it just so that the homeowners could walk on it in the meantime until I come back so at this point I'm ready to start my layout and take measurements for all the parts this is a CAD layout for solving all the geometry problems and calculating the angles that I need. And so I have to make 13 of these wedges that are going to be custom measured and installed. And so each one has to be fit in place. And I'm going to be making that out of some Douglas fir framing lumber, which will match the colors of the floor. Okay, so here I have a straight edge jig marking thing for making those angled marks on the Douglas fir pieces I just cut out. And so each one of these pieces is measured and numbered. And the blocks of wood is referencing the height that each one is sitting at on the floor. And I have a whole bunch of these blocks in 1 16th increments. So I'm custom measuring each tapered angle and transferring that mark onto the piece that I will cut out on the bandsaw. So this part is a little bit tedious but this is what's required to make a variable pitch ramp. So each one is numbered. I have 13 total. So now I'm ready to cut these on the bandsaw freehand and then I'll just clean them up a little bit and then they'll be ready to install.
Do you want me to do anything to complete this over here, or is this? Uh, I would prefer you put put something that goes that way, just so it's not a. You know, it'll look it'll look more finished. I think if you put a little dealy do on it. You know what I mean?